According to a defense expert, India has the local technology for the modernization of its Su-30 fighter jets under Super Shukhoi program, and there is no need to remain dependent on the original equipment manufacturer. It was recently confirmed that the Air Force is planning to upgrade only the avionics and electronics, while the engine upgrade will be excluded. Russia has offered the radar system used on Su-57 fifth generation fighter jet, while it can be easily equipped with the RDO's indigenous radar system, by scaling it up depending on the antenna size requirement for the Su-30. The current Su-30 fleet is equipped with 32-bit mission computer and display processors developed by the DRDO back in 1998, and the DRDO has already developed 64-bit next-generation mission computers for a MCA fighter jet and medium-weight fighter. Hindustan Aeronautics has already showcased a next-generation cockpit at the Defence Expo 2020, which can be compared with the cockpit of the Su-35. The DRDO is also ready with the Druti radar warning receiver, from the experience on developing the D-29 radar warning receiver for the MiG-29 UPG standard. The low-performing Russian SAP-518 pods on the Su-30 can be equipped with the DRDO's high-band jamming system, which has already begun testing in 2019. The Russian infrared image search and track system on Su-30 fleet is already set to be replaced by a highly powerful indigenous infrared image search and track system developed by Bharat Electronics Limited, which is capable to detect stealth fighter jets at long ranges. The Su-30 fleet are also set to be equipped with a highly advanced jam-resistant indigenous software-defined radio systems developed by Bharat Electronics Limited. The Indian Navy has partnered with an Indian 3D printing service bureau that will help to produce spare parts on demand using additive manufacturing technology. The availability of spare parts has been a recurring problem for the Indian Navy, due to the use of old and imported machinery from other countries, and this problem will now be solved by 3D printing the required spare parts and replacing them on demand without any delay. The Indian company had recently supplied various 3D printed spare parts to Indian Navy, and all of them have been successfully tested and incorporated into its machinery. As per latest media reports, after successful launch operations in 2018, India will conduct additional tests of the latest generation of nuclear-capable Agni-5 intercontinental ballistic system in the next few months, and it could enter service by the end of 2020. The Agni-5 can also be mounted on a transport and tilting vehicle, which could have a range of 7,500 km. India has reportedly been working on MRF capability for the 12,000 km Agni-6, and a highly classified 16,000 km system. The Indian Navy is all set to receive 8 mine countermeasure clip on influence sweeps from 2021, under a 306 crore rupees deal signed in 2019 with Thales Australia. The Navy will equip its fast interceptor vessels with these systems, which have state-of-the-art infrasonic acoustic generators.